Hey everyone, it's Sandra here. Today we're going to make an angel food dump cake. I hope you enjoy it. For today's recipe, you're going to need an ungreased 9 by 13 pan. You'll need a box of angel food cake, one large can of pineapple, two cans of pineapple juice, Fresh or frozen mango. I'm using frozen because I can't really get good quality fresh. I'm using one pound. And a package of macadamia nuts. The first thing that you want to do is pour your mango chunks in. This recipe is so simple because you literally dump things in. I just started making dump cakes just recently. I found them a lot of fun to do. So I'm just going to spread the mango chunks around so they're even. Then I'm going to dump the one can of pineapple juice, or excuse me, one can of pineapples. I'm using the crushed variety. And I try to spread it pretty even along. And you want to maintain the juice. The reason why I decided to make an angel food dump cake is because I'm trying to lose weight and I have quite of a sweet tooth right now, which always happens when you lose weight, I think. But I wanted something that was lower in fat. And since angel food has absolutely no fat in it, I thought it would be a great thing. The only fat that you're going to be getting from is from your nuts. And the nut fat is 21 grams for the whole entire package. So, yeah. Excuse me. There's 21 grams of fat per quarter cup. So this actually has quite a bit of fat in it, but it gives it so much flavor. <laughs> and it's not as bad as if you was to put the butter and everything else like you do on a normal dump cake. The next thing we're going to do is the angel food cake. Oh, and preheat your oven to 350. And the lowest rack. So here I'm going to do is spread the angel food cake. Angel food cake, um, the ingredients just say basically add water. And because you have the juices of the fruit and the other, you're going to have plenty of liquids to do this cake. Because I always thought, oh, with dump cakes, how's it all going to cook together? But amazingly enough, it does. So I'm just spreading this all out. And I want this to be a really, really moist angel food cake. So that's why I'm adding the additional pineapple juice. Because I think you can probably get away with this without adding any more um, liquids to it. But I want more liquids. And I'm going to kind of spread that even. It's very important that you start with an ungreased um, pan. And then I'm just going to do one can. And as you see, I'm just trying to spread it out. This will all seek in. It makes nice, yummy, spongy goodness. Here's the second can. And I'm kind of judging with the second can because it's a tw full 12 ounces that you're adding in when you add two small cans. If I feel like it's too much, I don't add the rest because it depends on about how juicy your your fruit is, but I'm adding both cans. 
And then you add your one package of nuts. And this is six ounces. Six ounces. And I'm just going to spread this nice and even. So basically the most fat that you're going to get is from the nuts on this dump cake. And if you don't like nuts, you don't have to add the nuts, or if you're allergic to nuts, you don't have to add the nuts. So they may make it really low fat. Or actually no fat, because I don't think pineapple has that much fat. Actually, if you omit the nuts, it'll be a no fat dump cake. So now everything is ready to place in your oven. I'm going to cook this at 350 degrees for approximately 30 minutes and I'm going to check it to make sure it's not burning. And I normally kind of judge, since it's angel food cake, about what my, because I have a convection oven so sometimes 30 minutes is a little bit too much, sometimes it's just right. But normally you would cook it for about 35 minutes and just check on it. So I'll see you back in 35 minutes. So we have exactly one minute left on my timer, and I'm going to go ahead and pull out the angel food cake because I think it's done. And actually it is. Here it is, fresh out of the oven. So now you're just going to let that cool and serve. If you like this recipe and some of my other recipes, don't forget to visit me at bakespace.com. You find me under Sandra Bilokonsky or S. Bilokonsky. Also, don't forget to check out Babs and the other mentors. Ciao!